Hi, everybody. I'm Joby Smith with the Carolina Pro Football Post Game Report right here from the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. And what a way to close it out in week 18 with a big win on the road. The Saints on their opening possession marched eight plays for 75 yards when Andy Dalton connected with Chris Olave on a 25-yard score that put them up 7-0. In the second quarter, Sam Donald on a drive was intercepted by Tyran Matthew, and they were shut out at the end of the half. Later, Carolina finally gets on the board when Michael Jordan alertly recovered a fumble by Donald in the end zone that tied the game up at seven apiece. The game remained tied heading toward the two-minute warning when Donald was picked off by Daniel Sorensen to stall that drive. New Orleans unable to capitalize, though. They also missed a potential game-winning field goal from 55 yards out by Will Lutz. Then it was a game hero, Eddie Pinero, stepping up. He hits the game winner from 42 yards out, and Coach Wilkes and the Panthers finish at 7-10. Yeah, I just, you know, it was more than just a kick tonight, um, or today, sorry. Um, you know, I was thinking about my teammates, our coaches, our whole staff. Um, it was amazing, so. You're a hero one day, you're a villain the next, and, you know, today we came up on top, and it was amazing, so. I have the best snapper and the best holder and punter in the league, so it just makes my life easier, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pete. You know, he's been doing all good all year, so for him to finish it, you know, um, and just, you know, finishing the game. Uh, man, hats off to him and the whole uh, guys that was on the field at that time. So, uh, yeah. This was a tough game for us, and we got through it, and uh, Eddie knocked it through. And uh, we're just going to enjoy this win. It's the one last time we all played with each other. Uh, pause on that one. I uh, played this last football game together, and um, we're going to enjoy the celebration. In all three phases, the guys showed up today, and, you know, We've dealt with so much different, as I always talk about, don't allow it to get in the way. So many different it's throughout the uh, course of the year. Um, and for those guys to circle the wagons and once again find a way to come together and win a football game is extremely impressive. Um, we won our last game at home in front of our fans, <clears throat> and we won the last game of the year on the road. Uh, a lot to uh, build on uh, moving forward. And again, couldn't be so proud of the men in that locker room. Now the looming question, of course, over all the organization is whether interim head coach Steve Wilkes is retained for next season. And that's a big question. Everybody's looking forward to him coming back in that locker room. I'll just speak for myself. I don't know about everybody else, but I love Wilkes. Uh, he's like a father to me. Um, you know, guys, keeping guys accountable. So that's me, myself, and I. That's my answer and, and my perspective on Wilkes. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys keep asking the question. You guys know we, we want Wilkes, right? And um, you know, man, we're gonna keep fighting for him. But as an owner, I definitely understand. As employees, just come talk to me, right? If I have a business and people keep complaining, I'd rather you come to me directly and let, let's solve it and give a handle. Well, it's been a great year of downs and ups. Of course, Steve Wilkes really finished strong with this crew. It's going to be exciting to see what the Panthers do for next season. By the way, we've had a great time covering this entire season. Stay with us on ADSN1.com for all the Panthers updates throughout the year.